Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping back in again, continuing our nice little streak. I'm hoping for a 20 this time and we get Dark Judas, which is actually, I wouldn't say a guaranteed win because he starts with low HP, but he's a character that usually I do reasonably well at. Reasonably well. He's, he, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Uh, anyways, let's just jump straight in, uh, and I'm I'm doing um, a bit of the, I haven't done this in a little while actually, but I'm doing a bit of the very early morning uh, recordings. I say very early morning, it's 10am, it's not exactly like 5am in the morning, but like, for recording a video, 10am is pretty early for me. Normally I record like, on my lunch break, uh, I don't really have a defined lunch break, I'm not going to sort of go into depth with my job, but my job lets me work essentially whatever hours I want, and I work from home. So essentially, as long as I don't have a meeting on and I can do the job that I'm doing later in the day or earlier in the day, I can just record when I want. Um, but I tend to like to record around lunchtime, sort of just after I've eaten or just before I eat. Um, but today, I was like, do you know what? I'm actually sort of in it to just... Oh, damn. Um, oh, god damn. That was kind of, uh, kind of a bad hit there. But I was like, do you know what? I'm just feeling like I could just do some recording right now. So hopefully we find a, a decent curse room here. Oh, that was a beautiful little chain reaction there. Of course, Dark Judas, starting with the Dark Arts, makes him pretty darn strong. It doesn't make him completely invincible, but it does make him pretty darn strong. Okay, no enemies in here. I do have some new mods, by the way. I have a new enemy mod, which is essentially like a, a, like a mini version of Rock Gut, which seems real. <laughs> so satisfying which seems like a really interesting enemy it's got a lot of different like varieties of it and stuff so i'm intrigued i can never remember can you open these for free as dark judas i don't think you can but i should try it no you can't oh that was so close to me not getting the iframes there um we are good good yeah um and another one we have which is a mod that i have been way the hell just hit me then um oh holy what's nice it's a mod that i've been waiting patiently for for honestly a really long time i didn't know if anyone was ever gonna make it or if it was in development but it's just come out it's not finished yet but it is in development and that is adding new champions to the repentance bosses because none of them have any champion variants and that's not a bad thing but at the same time when all the other bosses in the game do it's a little bit of a bummer to see that none of them do so i'm really really happy to um i'm really really happy to see oh also new champion visuals for this guy I'm really really happy to see that there is a new uh mod out that's going to add champions uh so far it adds eight uh, i think it adds them to a few of the f uh, first floor bosses like little plum and stuff um ooh, ordinary life yes please yes please but we're going mega satan one second right sorry about that let's carry on okay so we'll we'll keep going down this way just because my health's a little Leaves a bit to be desired. In fact, I do have a bomb, which means I should go to my shop and see if I can at least, like, bomb the donation machine and buy some um, HP. Unfortunately, not. I'm, I'm always a little worried when, I, um, when I'm when i on one HP, but it's, it's really only a big problem if we come across a champion that I don't agree with. The good thing is, if we use Dark Arts correctly, we have an out, essentially. Um, we have a way to get around uh, bad damage, essentially, so... Hopefully, we can not fumble it too much and make sure we don't die. That was risky. I tried to get the Dark Arts and that guy then realized I was a bit too far away. Honestly, Holy Water is going to end up carrying us a little bit here. It does a ton of damage early on. I love the... Like, I know it's been a long time since Holy Water, Holy Water got its rework now. But I still got to appreciate just how good the Holy Water rework is. Also, we've got to appreciate how good getting ordinary life this early is. Okay, this is a room I could genuinely die on, just because if a dumpy does manage to push me onto spikes here, it's an insta-kill. So, let's be very cautious about this, and try and stay away from any opportunity of us getting pushed. Okay. Ooh, okay, this is, this is good. Okay, I will spend a key here, despite it being a little, uh... A little risky. And I, do you know what? I'll take the pills too. I'll take the pills too. Tears up. HP down? God damn you. I mean, we at least we still got the burn heart here. But <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all. Okay. This isn't terrible. 
But the HP down there is is quite the bummer. I am liking the uh, the fact that we got a few unique wisps in here though. That's always fun. Uh, and the fact that we had to spend our key so now we can't get into our item room is a bit of a bummer. Especially, like I said, when we've got Ordinary Life, which is insanely good. Um, with Ordinary Life, we can essentially guarantee a half-decent item. Obviously, some of the um, mother-based items and father-based items aren't very good, but a lot of them are, are pretty decent. <laughs> and a good replacement for uh, a shit item if we get one. Ooh, we got a devil chest here as well. These, uh, these unique chests seem reasonably common. <laughs> They're basically like doubled up red chests, those, I think. You watchers not get a key now. That's going to be a bummer. That's going to be a big fat bummer, but that's, it is what it is. We maybe should have gone to the double bomb door. Um, I think it was a double bomb door, or was it a double key door? But uh, I, I don't have a bomb for that now either. So yeah, now we don't have a key or a bomb. Okay. That was maybe maybe a, a mis misguided, misjudged thing. By the way, I don't know. If I use dark hearts, is it going to destroy my wisps? I don't actually know if that's what the case. Okay, no. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like it makes them invincible while we're invincible. Which is rather nice. Holy hell, the damage that we're putting out. Okay, tears up is great for us here. Um... I think I'm going to check this just to try and get some more HP. Pills? Puberty. Okay, neither of those affect us. Unfortunately, this is a really big bummer of a flaw. <laughs> but anyways, we go down. We go down. Um, but yes, yeah, so like, just related to the, uh, to, to the, the mod that we got today. Um, oh god. Uh, for the question of the day. Oh god, no, no. Oh my lord. For the question of the day, what's um, what's a, a like a boss variant, a champion variant that you you would add if you could? You think something that that is uh, like a missed opportunity, or you'd really love to see? I always like hearing people's ideas about like additions to the game because I feel like um, modding's kind of a weird scene, really. And I don't just mean in Isaac; I mean in general. There is this pretty huge stigmatism around suggestions and suggesters in general. Um, because basically there's some sort of amnesty between, uh, someone suggesting something and a modder, mainly because of a select few type- Here's one of the new enemies. Um, holy shit. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, so they're like mini-bosses. We need to be careful about those. Um, there's a lot of different variants of those, by the way, but yeah, we're gonna have to be careful about those, because they seem pretty gnarly. Um... Yeah, there's a, there's a, because of a sort of small group of people, or I wouldn't even say that small, because of a group of people, there's this sort of stigmatism around, around suggestors, because a lot of the time, the, what ends up happening is people give modders suggestions, but it's, it, they, they don't go about it in a very nice way. We'll take analog stick here. Yeah, they don't go about it in a very nice way. Essentially, they, they basically tell the modder what to do because they don't know how to do it or can't be asked to find out how. And they just kind of, people suggest things and just expect modders to do their bidding for them. And it's given, it's given suggest, suggest, suggestors quite a bad name. Another thing as well is I think a lot of modders just tend to like to do their own thing. So normally um, taking on people's suggestions isn't really something that happens that often. And I think another thing that kind of, that, that unfortunately is like a, a bit of a side effect of this is a lot of people that have suggestions have good ideas, but they aren't often grounded in reality, especially in something like Isaac that has honestly a very shoddy API. Um, a lot of people do not understand what is and isn't possible. So a lot of the time people are like, oh, just just do this. And they don't realize for one, it might be impossible. But another thing, um, oh, do you know what? We'll take that. Another thing that I, uh, that I see as well, one second, is um, when people suggest things and they, they just don't comprehend the ridiculous amount of work it would take to make it happen. They're like, oh yeah, just respray all of these things in the entire game. Piece of piss. And they, they, they don't really understand the, the gravity of what they're suggesting. Um, and I, I think that's, it's, it's not exactly their fault. It's not exactly people's fault for that. But it does sort of mean that modders end up sort of having this 
I'm not saying every modder, by the way, but a lot of modders kind of have this idea of people that give them suggestions where they're just going to be suggestions that are either trash, impossible, make no sense, stuff like that. And I, yeah, I, f I feel like it means that actually giving genuine suggestions is a lot harder. One thing that I'm really happy about is obviously I'm not uh, a modder myself in the terms of I don't really could, even though I, I did know how. I wouldn't say I do know how now. I, um, I did um, computer science with games development at university, so I technically have a degree in coding, but I haven't coded in about four years, mainly because university taught me that I don't really like coding. <laughs> no, it's more so that I don't like debugging, but unfortunately debugging is a necessary part of coding. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I opted for, for, like, getting into a line of work and just generally getting into the other side of, um, of the coding work, where it's not the actual code itself, it's more like, um, doing, uh, doing, like, testing and stuff like that, which I understand is a bit of a paradox, because it, that is in itself technically debugging but <laughs> anyways um but yeah so because i'm not sort of one of the pe one of the sort of people that just can go out and make their own mods um or at least and another thing as well is i like oh another champion um i i kind of would but uh, now nowadays because of youtube which is I'm, I'm not using it as an excuse i'm more using it as just my sort of real reasoning um, I don't really have the time as much anymore to uh, to like go out and and learn Lua because uh, I do YouTube and that's kind of one of the biggest things I do in my free time. And then obviously any free time I have on top of that, I want to just have to myself to like game and stuff. Um, oh, nice. Okay, we don't unfortunately don't really have the money for this right now. I am gonna go and bomb my donation machine real quick. Uh, unfortunately. We have a bit of an anti-synergy though, because I just bought card reading, and card reading plus stairway don't work together. <laughs> uh, because once we go to one, the other disappears. Okay, will this give us up to 15? Hell yes, it will. Good, good. Right, um, we want to be making sure we get as much money as we possibly can out of all of these. Um, yeah, and what I was going to say is, because I don't really have the ability to make the mods myself all the time... I am quite lucky in the fact that I have a, a platform in which to in which to reach out to modders. Like, obviously, if some one of you guys from the comments who, who who's just a fan of the game, a fan of modding, reached out to a modder and said, "Hey, can you make this mod?" No offense, but there's a, a, a quite a, a likely chance that they might not want to do it. But if I reach out and say, especially if it's someone whose mod I already use in my series and they already know who I am, I'm not saying that as if I have a lot of gravitas. I don't. I don't have very much influence at all. Um, but I can actually sort of use the fact that I'm somewhat known in the modding community and somewhat known to modders to be to, to have sort of that access to be a little more able to approach modders with ideas and because of that I've actually managed to create a good few mods obviously Prian the creator of the collection collections helped me to uh, code the um, the Lilith rework mod obviously uh, Prian pretty much used his own code and coded the whole thing themselves uh, so big props to Prian for that but that was kind of based off of an idea I had in a video uh, as you guys will have seen a few weeks ago. Ooh, Planetarium on a 1% chance. Oh, no, 21% chance. Oh, we skipped an item room. Hell yeah. Okay. Jupiter or Aquarius. Unfortunately, I would... I would love Jupiter, but it's just not good. <laughs> Aquarius is way more enjoyable for us here. Um, especially because Aquarius can now synergize and scales of our tears. Uh, and this is one of the big reasons why I love, love, love... Um, ordinary life. We just got a better item and broke the tier cap. It doesn't get better than that. It does not get better than that. Right, I'm just going to sit here for a second and then use Dark Arts to get this last button. Okay, we're good. We are good, good, good. God damn, yeah, our tiers are insane now. <laughs> I like it. I like it, I like it. Right, we're going to keep trying to get as much money as possible before heading to the next floor. There is some money here. Uh, I think we can get it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Obviously, I don't think we're going to get up to 15 cent this uh, this floor, but we'll try. Also, we should go to our cash room. I keep forgetting I can enter cash rooms for free. They unfortunately haven't been very useful for us as of yet, but still. 
Um, yeah, and I just I just like being able to like have that platform where I can actually approach modders and have a half decent chance at them actually listening. And also, I think the fact that I the fact that I know the game intimately, like I know Isaac very well, and on top of that, I understand the the sort of back end of coding because I have a background in coding. I'm kind of a little more knowledgeable in what's plausible and what isn't, and. Um, and because a part of my actual job, I do a lot of bug testing, so I'm usually a little more knowledgeable on on how how like where problems could arise and how to solve those problems or how to at least find them for the modders. Uh, anyone that watches my Binding of Isaac's uh, Binding of Isaac series, this is the Binding of Isaac series. Anyone that watches my Enter the Gungeon series will know how rapidly and quickly I break literally everything in that game that modders create. And modders quite literally hate me in that game because every single time I jump in the modding chat, they're all always like. Oh, fuck. Do you know what? I'm gonna... I know this is a bit risky. Because I'm not on great HP right now. But I wanted to open that just to try and get some extra money. Um. Ooh, nice. Probably should have just waited for that guy to blow that up for me. But, oh well. Come on. Contain a bunch of money for me, please. Please, please, please. Not quite what I wanted. But this is still pretty good. Ah. I, can't, I keep, keep forgetting you can't pick stuff up while in Dark Arts. I should probably, like, do the tedious thing and do this, but it's it's going to take us ages to get all these bombs. I don't think I can be arsed. I'll at least grab one as a demonstration. But yes, I think when, um, when I uh, approach... I'm not saying this is, like, I can approach any modder with any idea and they'll just do it at the drop of a hat. I more so mean that... Um, oh, nice. Okay, good money, good money. Uh, I more so mean that... I, I, like, there's a bit higher of a chance that the idea that I have will be more grounded in reality, and I'll be a little more able to approach a modder with an idea and it actually be something that they may consider. Which is, which is nice. That, 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 that's sort of one of the big things um, in my sort of career on YouTube. I wouldn't even call it a career, but in my time on YouTube, it's one of the things I appreciate most. Although I haven't exactly garnered the, the biggest audience in the world. I mean, we're, we're getting gone for 6.5k subs. We're doing pretty damn well. I'm pretty happy with myself. Um, but obviously, other people have exploded their channels way quicker than I have. I mean, look at my friend BD1P. His channel uh, is on like 24k subs, and he's been on YouTube one third of the time I have. Um, even less. It's just, it's just how YouTube works sometimes. I'm, I'm completely fine with it. I don't really mind. I, I like the audience that I have. In fact, I kind of like having a smaller audience sometimes because it means that um, I can follow comments a little easier and I know my uh, my commenters and people in my Discord a little more. It's nice. I think smaller communities can sometimes be a little bit better. Bigger communities kind of... They get a bit less personal. We got perfection. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess I'll take it. Um, unfortunately, I don't really care about that, but let's go down. Um... Yeah, like, the relationships with modders and just, like, people in general. I mean, the fact that I got to interview Kilburn. Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's so awesome. Uh, I wasn't... I, I'd never have expected that I'd get the opportunity to interview Kilburn through, uh, like, the, the, the lead developer of The Binding of Isaac through my YouTube. And I did. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh, are you kidding? I completely forgot I had perfection when, when trying to kill that enemy. Although, that enemy was just a bit of BS anyways. Again, another item that's just far better. Although, the straw isn't bad. The straw isn't bad, but it, it, it like, one of its gimmicks is that it drops red hearts, which is completely useless for us. So, I don't really care. I'd rather have the, uh, the key to get some more loot from chests. Right. Good, good. little scary on that tiny guy there, but we got it. The star's coming. The star's following. Hello. That's a big boy. Got them. That is one big boy. Good, good. I'm surprised Holy Waters never synergy with Aquarius, considering they seem to drop the same stuff on the floor. I want to check out our shop. Despite it being unlikely that I'll enter our shop, I still want to check it out anyways. See what's what in there. See what's what. Boom, 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 boom. 
Lovely. Okay. Well, we actually entered, like, a, a point of... On this run where... It's very weird. We're in a very low HP state pretty much permanently. Yet we actually have a very good run going. <laughs> like, all of the stuff that we've got combined, especially our tier 8, is pretty amazing. I'll grab that for the boss. But yeah, the minute, I'm just trying to do as many rooms as I possibly can to try and garner as much money as I can. Because the thing is, there is going to be a point where we get a 30 cent deal. Um, of course, that can happen with, like, high tier items. I think it only happens with quality 4, to be honest. But we could get a, a god's head or something like that. Um, and it'd be a real shame to miss out on it. Like, even if there's HP in here, I don't think I'll buy it. We do have a BFF. I will buy a BFF. It's a risk. I realize that. But it's going to make all of our familiars better. And obviously, the two that we currently have are pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty happy to have those. And we'll pop in here real quick. I like using those just to see if we can get um, a mini Isaac. It's pretty nice to have them. But yeah, it'd be nice to uh, it'd be nice to get some more HP. But yeah, I don't know particularly how much extra damage we're going to be getting from our Zen baby. But I know for a fact that our Holy Water specifically um, does an extra effect now that it's BFF'd. It now has like a, a white fire in the middle, which is honestly kind of a weird BFF effect because it stuns enemies when they touch it, so they rarely even get to get near the fire. Because that is a red heart, by the way, that reflected one. You can see by checking the map. So we don't want to touch it. We did get up to 25 cent. Hopefully these next few rooms here, we've got two rooms left, give us another 5 cent. I doubt it. But, yeah, I just I just don't want to walk in and be, like, completely bummed out by the fact that we miss out on a really good item because we were five cents short because we bought BFF. Oh, are you kidding me? I touched those spikes somehow. How? This is, this is not a, a good idea in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we're at 30 cent. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I don't know how I managed it, but I accidentally touched those spikes. That's just devastating to me. Just devastating. Anyways, we're doing fine nonetheless. I just... I'm just worried a few champions could really throw a wrench in our plans right now. Alright, pop that. Ooh, I forgot the star would be here. And we can get holy water on him. Oh my god, yeah. We're going to be destroying bosses. Luckily, we got an angel deal and a soul heart here. Well, there's sacred heart. And a bunch of HP. Okay, we're pretty much fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a resprite of sacred heart, by the way. What do you think? I think it looks really good. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Just a bit of sacred heart. So, we've already got one of the angel deal items that I'd want to get from stairway anyways. I'll definitely take Alexa Baby there. Gimme, gimme. I mean, I might at this point, I might as well fight the Angel statue. Like, we've got crazy good damage, so... Should have used Dark Arts there. But yeah, I'm going to say we might as well, because we're going to be able to get... Um, get ourselves the two pieces easily. More money, thank you. Oh, and also... We now have Herming Aquarius, which is one of the coolest things in the game. Yeah, because we have Herming through Sacred Heart, we actually get Herming Aquarius. Look at that. It's so I love I love Aquarius synergizing with tier effects now. It's, it's so cool. Herming Aquarius especially is one of my favorites. But yeah, we're we're in for a, a treat of a run here. This is gonna be a uh, quite an easy time for us, I think. And we get a... So, this is kind of interesting. Like, I don't know if I want this. Because it is good, but it only really gives us piercing. But then again, it is piercing. Let's just take it. It's not as if we need to enter Angel Deals for real. Yeah, I have Lyle there with another Resprite, by the way. Looking very good. 
But yeah, having having uh, the homing that we already have, whatever. But getting the uh, extra on top of that of the piercing does does add a lot to us. Does that does does do a lot for us. And that's key. I mean, there you go. This is yet another thing of ordinary life being ridiculously good. But this guarantees an angel de uh, uh, a mega certain fight no matter what. Also saves us on keys. Considering we have ten, I'm not too worried about saving on keys. I'll be honest. Right, let's just go straight through. What? That was the worst. I dark arts through the foot straight into the hand at the other side. Yeah, you're, you're going down, missus. Remember, uh, Aquarius scales off of our damage too. So our damage is nutty, which means we're doing a lot to um, any enemy that touches that creep. It's good stuff. I like it. We've really created quite a good run for ourselves here. Unfortunately, that is not an item I'm willing to take, but I will fight you. Unfortunately, flying enemies, of course, Aquarius don't do jack shit. But you are very much dead nonetheless. Boom, bow. That's the problem. I, I like. I really wish there was some interaction. Ooh, new um. This is a this is a new chest. Unfortunately, I don't really want to spend money on it, but apparently this is um, the put between one and seven coins to open it. I'll try it out. The very cool little animation. And it gave us Guppy's tail. Okay, I don't know if that they only drop items or if they have like chances to drop other stuff. I'm imagining, considering it costs between one and uh, seven cents, there's a high chance it doesn't drop an item. But we got an item. It's pretty cool. Nice little new chest there. I definitely think the new chests are a little bit too common, considering the mod's called Rare Chest Varieties, I think it's called, something along those lines. It definitely has the name Rare, the word Rare in its name, which so far I'm not really experiencing them being all too rare. I normally get three or four of them, maybe more, a run. Which isn't a terrible thing, they're not, it's not like they're really overpowered, but I'd prefer them to be rarer, if possible. I like them as a little treat. Here's more of these dudes. Didn't actually get to see what they did, but don't bother me. But yeah, we're now in the territory of it's going to be pretty hard to kill us, even with our low HP, because we're going to be killing rooms near instantly as we walk into them. Isaac has that weird power balance of, like, I don't, I don't even know how it does it. Like, I still find the game fun when it's like this, even though I am just demolishing the game. But yeah, I, I still, like, even though I'm, like, going through every room and just insta-killing it, I still find the game really fun. So it's a weird thing, like, most most games or a lot of games when you get, like, ridiculously overpowered, it kind of kills the fun a little bit, but I don't know. I think for me specifically, it's just because I do it on YouTube, which means that e when I have an overpowered run, for one, I know that people are still enjoying it even if I'm not, which is rare. I, I, I'm, like I said, I pretty much always enjoy the runs I play. But even if I'm not, other people are, which is definitely more of a motivator. But on top of that, um, when you're having an overpowered run like this, it just gives me a platform to just chat shit, which is great. Okay, so these little rock gut things seem reasonably common. I will use this a few times, but not too much health up, until I get a bad effect. Okay, it's gone. Didn't get a single bad effect. Apart, I mean, to be fair, I'd say telepills teleporting us literally to the furthest room for them from the room we were in is not particularly great, <laughs> but it's not inherently bad. We can use Dark Arts for the speed boost to get back a bit quicker as well, if we want. Not exactly the best use of Dark Arts, but there you go. Right, back we go. Yeah, overpowered runs are like a, a nice sort of way for me to just chill and speak my mind. And like I said before, when I'm ill especially, I still technically got COVID at the minute. I'm not really ill, but... um, It's... It, Playing Isaac's always always nice for me. I I I always um I always enjoy it. It's always a nice way for me to relax. Just be able to chat shit and play a game, whether I'm having an OP run or not. I prefer runs that like the start of this one, where they're a bit of a struggle bus. But then I kind of like it, like with the last episode where we had a struggle bus for a really long time. But then towards the end of the episode, it truly redeemed itself with that reroll. I like those runs where it's like you feel like you've earned the overpoweredness. You feel like you've earned stomping the game. It's not like you just got an overpowered item on the first floor. Ooh, Job's drag is, drag is very good. Take that. 
Oh, I, I just realized, why am I going this way? My Star of Bethlehem's going the opposite way. Just follow the Star of Bethlehem. Always follow the Star of Bethlehem. Don't particularly know where it's going, but I'll stick with it. Right, up or down? Wish it was a little faster. I wish with BFF it just sped it up a little bit and uh, increased its radius or something. I don't even know if BFF affects it. Down, okay. That's all I need to know. Ooh, there, there's another one of the new chests. File cabinet could give us some paper-like items. Let's go have a little look see, shall we? God damn. <laughs> Ancient recall. I think that's because we have the, um, the what's it called, uh, mum's key. It just fucking dropped a ton of stuff. Yours, me. Ooh, soul of Lilith. Come on, give me incubus. Ah, Wormfriend's pretty good, though. I'm pretty happy with Wormfriend. And we got this. Okay, we'll try and get a, a door with our solar cane here. We can get like two or three exits. What I aim for, at least. Okay, one. Two. Okay, there's only two here, but I'll still try this anyways. Oh, no, there, there was four. What the hell? I was so wrong. We got a devil deal. Um, which... Is a little touch and go, but I will take Guppy's hairball because it's one off Guppy. Oh shit, I never finished the room apparently. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I think there was like a, a worm dude all the way back over here. Boom bow. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten four out of a room before, but I'm happy with it. And last one. And there you go. Got the ultra secret room as well. Don't even know what we'll be looking for out of this. Apparently yum heart. No, to be fair, the bed is very nice. <laughs> I don't care about anything else in here. The bed is top notch. Basically means that we got a free guppy's hairball. Which I very much appreciate. Oh, Crystal Key. Even more red rooms. Hell yes. I, Crystal Key is one of my favorite base game trinkets. Up to 30 cent again. Nice. Start Bethlehem. After all that fucking around, it's only just arriving. I'm sorry, Star Bethlehem, but you have been left behind. You have very much so been left behind. Ow. Ow. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard here. We've got the Alexa baby to help us uh, out by defending us with the little wisps as well. No devil deal or anything. Uh, I'm not going to do hush. I do not... I, like, we can definitely do it, but I just don't really see the point on this run. We're already more than powerful enough. And there's Immaculate Heart. Beautiful. And we got Seraphim out of that too. Good -er. Now, because of the amount of uh, loot we get from chests, it's somewhat likely. Also, Job's Rags. Holy hell. Job's Rags gives you like a decaying tears up. Look at the amount of tears it's giving us. Damn. I, I want to I wanna get one of them to pay out just to see what it pays out with, if not an item. God damn, this is a crazy build. Oh, there's our second ultra secret room in a row. And unfortunately, Talisman of, Absor of Absorption is little to useless right now, pretty much. Unfortunately, not very good. But we'll take it. God damn, this run is insane. This run is bananas. B A N A N A S. This run is bananas. B A N A N A S. Okay, I went. I went for this just because I want to get the. Uh, I want to get the coins to open up. 
That chest. Oh my god, look at it! It's insane! It's nuttily buttily. Alright, so go over this way. I know, I realise I'm losing my tears up by going back to this chest, but... Okay. So... For the cost, I mean, obviously, we got lucky with this, but for the cost, they seem pretty overpowered. But we need to, we need a sort of bigger sample size. And also, I think we need to test them out without Mum's key. Mum's key could be a defining factor in why it's so strong, I'll be honest. It could be that we'd get nowhere near the same level as, of loot out of those normally, but Mum's key is just, like, plugging away. I actually don't know if, um... If Sarah Bethlehem went this way, I'm just gambling. I completely forgot where it went. It passed me by. Oh, you bastard. Purple heart. I'm guessing we are going this way. Ooh, there is a very broken Dominic there. Fortunately, it's pretty shit. I'm, I'm so glad they nerfed those, though. They used to be way overpowered. There are still a few really strong ones. But they used to be, like, run-winning. <laughs> I'm really liking these dudes. As much as I'm killing them instantly right now. They're very cool. And they seem to be able to show up on pretty much every floor and have both a large and small variety of themselves. Cool enemy. I like. Yeah, you are. Muy bien very burned. And let's see what we get. We've got a dice shard as well here to play around with. So if we don't like our choices, we can change them out. Um, I'll take you. And I think I'll reroll the rest. I'm actually very disappointed with my rerolls there, but... Hey, her. Ooh, holy light. Nice. We've got two luck. We might as well take a little bit of a look around here. Actually, do you know what? No. Let's just go fight Mega Satan now. Because we currently have the ridiculous tears up from Job's Rags. We might as well take advantage. I think the amount of tears we have is going to completely, completely outweigh any item that we pick up throughout this. And we should be able to get through most of the fight before it runs out too. I mean, just look at the damage you're doing. And then Holy Light on top of this. Oh, Star of Bethlehem's here. I didn't realize it would be. Where are you going to stop Star of Bethlehem? What the hell's that? Um, slows down all enemies by... Fi my, my god, we got... Okay, so apparently the, the Ultra Sins can now drop their own versions of these. I've seen a few of them before, but not this many. Um, every enemy in the room explodes taking damage. They can't hurt you. Every enemy that dies will give you a temporary damage boost. Um, we've seen the Apple of Pride before. I really like these. These are cool. Get a huge stat boost. Slows down all enemies who sent makes them leave poison creep behind. Uh, allows you to restart the room and grant a better room reward for clearing it. Interesting stuff, but unnecessary. I don't know where our, our um, Star of Bethlehem went, by the way. It seems to have just been like, just passing by, don't mind me. There's really not much you could do to kill me at this point. You can hit me all you want, but I think I'm... Look at me. I am the captain now. I can throw in a few of these, but yeah, it seems that I don't know how like high the chances of those pride bosses. They're uh, not pride bosses, they're like sin bosses have, have of dropping those. But it seems that they can only drop from the sin bosses, which means on the last few floors you're a lot more likely to get them. Whoever makes that whoever makes the mod, I don't know who it is. They might want I, I'm I'm guessing it's Repentance Plus, maybe? But whoever makes them might want to consider making it so they can't drop on the chest. 
or at least they can't drop in the Mega Satan fight, because it's a bit cheesy. I seem to get the Apple of Sodom, uh, sorry, Apple of Pride every single time I'm on this uh, floor, which is a huge thing because it's a massive stat boost. Either way, we end out the run there, feeling very good about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.